Hello, everybody. It's Chad again from Day Trading Forex Live. I just wanted to go over this trade I took on uh, Friday for just for non-farm payrolls. A bit risky of a trade to be entering before non-farm, but I, I just couldn't resist how it set up so nice and pretty like. First of all, you know, for those of you who read my commentary, I posted that, you know, we're looking for the third push down, which is the, the highest probability trade with the method that we trade here following the banks. But, you know, it's still a bit risky to, to assume that we're going to be, you know, not get whipped out during non-farm. But as you can see here, as things set up through the, the London session here, what we got going on is we got the stop run below the Asian range. Asian range was actually pretty tight here on the pound, only 17 pips. So we got the stop run and the push up. We're you know we're only looking for the short. And you know, we got three intraday pushes to the upside. One, two, three. All right. And then at the end of that, we got some candle formations with the, the nice big spinning top doji, big old pin on the top. Then a pin hammer. You know, not not the best hammer. I'd you know like them to be smaller, but still showing rejection. Then what we call a set of reversal legs. This right here. And then all these pins afterwards, once it got over into here, I was, you know, not paying real close attention to the market through here. I probably would have entered over in here. But coming up to non-farm, I'm just thinking to myself, well, if it's going to give me a nice entry, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just go ahead and take the risk. Use a normal stop, 20 pip stop. If it whips me, it whips me. And if, uh, if not, we should have, you know, the third push. And, and sure enough, we did. So... Once it uh, once I entered, you can see on this candle right here, I'll, my my orders will be posted here uh, at the end of the video, and then uh, non-farm candle here whips around a bit, and then starts to push off to the downside. Once it did, just uh, set my take profit just a couple of pips above the 90 pip range tool at uh, 154.62, or actually it's wrong, it was 67, right around there, within a pip or so, and went to bed, uh, woke up Saturday morning, prop, take profit hit, all good to go, now we're, uh, Looking into Monday. Hope this helps and uh, take care. We'll see you next time.